In this video, we'll be placing a live options Google trade where we'll be using the interactive brokers web-based platform to place the trade. So once you've logged in, you head over to trade and you select option chains. That then will bring up the ticket that you want to trade. So in our case, it is Google. Click on Google and what it does, it brings up the options chain exactly how you would see it on any other broker or whether you use Trader Workstation or you use the IBKR app. So what I like to do is select the monthly option. So I like to sell options 45 to 60 days out, the first monthly cycle with 45 days or more. So May 19th has 44 days, so I'm not gonna be too overwhelmed by it. And one of the reasons why I picked Google is that it has a 52 week IV rank greater than 30, with which in this example it is 54. And basically what we're looking at here is the higher this number, the more volatile Google is in comparison to the last 52 weeks. So I like to trade anything like I mentioned above 30. So 54 for Google is relatively good. Now that we're in May 19th, we now need to decide what strategy that we want to do. I want to do a short strangle. So what a short strangle is, is selling an out the money put and an out the money call at the same time. Now, because I don't have a directional bias on Google, I will try to make this as delta neutral as possible. I like to go around the 15 or delta to start a position. So if we look here on the uh, put side, which is the right side, we've got a delta of 13 and 21. So just to be a bit more safer, we'll go for the 13. And then what that does is kind of brings up the performance information over here. So currently all we've done is sold the put. So if we go to the call side, looking for around the 15 delta. So we have the 120 here at 13, 13.8, 13 which is fine. So we'll sell that as well. So you can see here in this performance section, we are selling the May 19th, 90, $90 put, and we're selling the May 19th, $120 call. And you can see here that creates this kind of section here, which is flat which is the range we need Google to be in to be profitable. So if we look at it here, if Google currently trading at 104.45 stays somewhere in between 90 and 120, we will, uh, we will make money. So obviously our max return is the credit we receive. So the mid price is sitting at 190 and we obviously have a maximum loss that will be managed in this position. So in theoretically that max loss is not really a true reflection. Now, if we have a quick look here at the probability of profit is 80%. So what's that saying at the date of expiration, there's an 80% chance that Google will be out of the money and this trade will be profitable. Now, what I like to do is I like to manage positions 50% of max profit. So what's this about around the 190 marks or what's that 50, about 90, 90 odd dollars or 95 odd dollars. If the option decays down to $90 and I can buy this option back for between $90 to $95, I will do that and therefore taking a lot of risk off the table by managing my winners early. But 80% probability is a pretty good place to be around a 13 to 15 delta strangle. So what we're going to do here, we're going to hit on the order button. We're just confirming we're selling one Google at the money at the 90, selling one Google at 120. And I don't put any stop losses or things like that on there. So I could work my way through the mid price. It doesn't actually show you what the mid price actually kind of is here. You can tell between here, we're currently at the, uh, at the bid price of 188. Okay. I could lose a few pennies here, but let's submit to get, to get filled. And let's see what happens. So that's fine. Now you can see that the order has been filled. I probably could have got a better fill on there fairly instantly filled. And you got the order ID reference, the usual stuff that you generally see with a trading option. So there you have it. That is how you sell an option or buy an option, whatever it is you want to do, but how you trade options using the interactive brokers web browser.